What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I have been taking care of my hair. A little morning routine. I haven't done one of these videos in almost two years and I actually haven't watched that video. I want to say it was fairly simple then and I'd like to believe it's fairly simple now. I don't know. You know, when this video is over, go watch that video. I'll tag it up above and let me know if I'm like doing too much right now or I wasn't doing too much then. I don't know. I don't know. But this is what I do now. So yeah, today is just like a normal day right now. I am like two days before my wash day, but I'm still not trying to do nothing with my hair. My hair is not styled at all. Not at all, but I need to keep it moisturized, so yeah i'm just going to put it up in a little bun y'all know my famous bun back in the day before i was really like doing hair doing hair Woo! oh baby no no baby. <laughs> it looks like a hat like this is what i really be looking like y'all like i know i be making all the videos with the different hairstyles and the wash and goes and such but when it's like a day before wash day this is pretty much how we're looking like i'm not doing all that extra nighttime routine stuff i just put a bonnet on and call it a day but i like to keep it moisturized so the first thing i do in the mornings is i go with a bottle of water that is something that i don't think has ever changed in my morning time routine like whether it was when i had a twa or when i was just strictly completely lazy with my hair not taking care of it at all and now i definitely spray my hair with some water in the mornings when my hair is like this so y'all i don't play with this stuff like when my hair is not in a style and it just needs some moisture in the morning i don't play like when you think you're done putting enough water like you still need a little bit more and if y'all are afraid of like drowning your hair in water and you don't want to do that right now get you like the little mist bottle like this because it's not going to spray out a crazy amount of water to where you feel like you might as well just get in the shower you know what i mean Then I'm gonna go ahead in with my Diva by Cindy Leave-In Detangling Conditioner. And it is a spray bottle. And it makes it easy to like rehydrate during the week. Y'all know that I'm not the biggest fan of spray leave-ins like for wash day, but I love it for wash day, but especially for days like this when I just need to re-moisturize my hair. And then also by Diva by Cindy, I'm going in with her Curl Pop Curl Hydration Say Goodbye to Dry Curl. This is just another added layer of moisture. It serves as a leave-in or a styler, or if you just need a good amount of moisture. So it is a cream, and I'm not taking a crazy lot, just about this much, which is my version of a dime size, like clearly larger than a dime size, but it's not a lot, a lot to because y'all know we don't do dime sizes over here. And as y'all see, like, in the mornings, I'm not doing all that separating my hair, this, that, and the third. Like, I literally am just trying to get in and get out. Okay. Got a little bit of white, but that's just because, again, like, I have not washed my hair in a little while. It's almost wash day, so things are kind of sticking to my hair right now, but that's okay. On a normal, like if my hair was fairly clean, this stuff would penetrate my hair very, very nicely. Also, I just wanted to show you guys what I would do if I was gonna skip the water and the leave-in step. I would just use the Tailored Beauty Moisturizing Mist. I use this when I'm feeling extra, extra, extra lazy and I have like zero time and I need to just get out the house and I use this to replace the water and then the other leave-ins that I use. So if you're feeling a little lazy, get you like a little moisturizer mists I like this one from Taylor Beauty it's pretty high all right now I'm gonna take my little man brush here I call it my man brush because it's a very hard not too hard so it's like pulling on my hair but it's a nice hard brush to get it everything to smooth down nicely and I smooth my hair down first before I go in with gel just to make the actual putting the gel on process a lot easier and then I take my gel I'm gonna use the wet line extreme today I've kind of shied away from these gels for wash and goes but as far as just holding down my hair for a little top bun or something it do it do so i'm not taking a lot again about this much just in the back and then i'm gonna take my brush again and really smooth that out nicely and now I'm taking my little hair tie, which is actually 
um, some cut up tights. It was some holy tights and I cut them up and made it my hair tie. So I'm pretty sure I've been using this since like two or three years ago. So this is probably in my last morning routine video. So go check that out. But I'm taking that and I'm just crossing it over my faux hair and pushing it up until I get it to where I want it to be. And I'm gonna tuck the ends away just like that. And then I'm gonna take my pick and pick this out so I can get my puff to be all oh, loud, you know, high volume, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Now, I'm just looking in the mirror so I can shape it a little better. And then sometimes I'll leave it like this, but you know, I'm feeling a little spicy today. I'm feeling just a little spicy. That's a spicy meatball. I'm gonna go ahead and take my edge brush and my Style Factor Edge Booster and do my edges up just a little bit, just a tad. You know, I'm not one of those make it swoop kind of girls because one, like, who got time? Like, I just, I just don't. But also, like, I'm not, the best at swooping my edges. I do what I can, I do what I do, but you know, it ain't nothing to, to brag about. So I'm gonna just take my brush and brush out my natural baby hairs. Cause I really do have an issue with people who, <sighs> we're not gonna talk about it. Man, so I'm just getting those natural hairs that wanna fall out right there. And then I'm gonna take my edge control brush. I'm gonna try to do this so y'all can see it. But I don't do a great job anyway, so ain't nothing to wanna duplicate. I promise y'all. Like seriously, I can never get this side to match this side and it's pissing me off. Like, let me cut this part. Two hours later. All right, y'all, I did my best with my edges. Like, this is about as good as it's gonna get. Let me just, I gotta do something with it. I'm about to just tuck this one back in because that was looking crazy. All right, and then I got a little extra spicy into these little parts. I took them out, you know, with the little curl right there. Why not? And then what every natural girl needs when she got her hair up in a poof is some big old hoop earrings because I'm telling you, it, 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 it can make or break the look. Watch, watch, bam. You see that transformation? What the earrings did to this style? Like it just transformed it. And now I'm ready to go. Like, where am I going? It's quarantine still, but I'm ready. But that is all you guys. So this is pretty much what I do when my hair is just not styled and I still got a couple days until wash day, but I need a little bit extra moisture. So this is my routine. I don't know how similar it is to the last one, but let's go watch that right now. I'll join y'all over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was simple enough for you. Like I know that some of my things have gotten a little bit more extra over the years but I try to keep it as simple as possible make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you can be notified every time I make a new video hit that thumbs up button share this channel with a friend you know we over here just loving our natural selves and loving the hair that grows out of our head okay we all here together on this journey join and other than that I will see you guys for my next one bye